What's up guys, my name is Michael and in this video we're gonna turn this boring photo into an awesome picture. And for this reason we're using Capture One. For everybody wondering why we're not using Lightroom, check out my channel for more videos on that topic. Now first of all the white balance in this shot is way too cool. So we're gonna turn up the white balance to around maybe like... 7000 Kelvin. Then we're gonna add a layer, use the gradient tool to uh, create a nice and smooth gradient, bring down the exposure, bring down the highlights and as you can see a lot of the detail in the sky is coming back and over here you can see that the image is a little bit overexposed and I cannot get everything back but that's fine for me so just like that so next we're gonna use the straighten tool to align the horizon let's see if that's good maybe do some fine-tuning and um, next up we're gonna add a lot of clarity structure and maybe increase the saturation. Next I want to increase the contrast in the Grand Canyon area in the middle of the image. For that reason I'm gonna add another layer, call it Grand Canyon. I'm gonna also name this one Sky. I'm gonna use the brush tool to brush some effect into these areas. Press M on the keyboard to see where I'm painting. And now I'm gonna increase the contrast and bring down the exposure. So let's increase some of the structures and make the canyon more three-dimensional. Gonna guess this is looking pretty good so far. Let's see the mask do some fine-tuning. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm using a pretty soft brush. So already you can see quite a dramatic change. I'm gonna see a quick before and after. And this is pretty amazing. So we're still not finished. <laughs> Let's add another layer. Call it bushes. Use the brush tool to paint in these areas where the bushes are. So this is gonna affect the foreground. Just pretty quick and rough. And um, I'm gonna reduce clarity in this area. And I'm gonna bring down the exposure as well. So we can get the viewer's attention more towards the middle and the sky. So let's do some fine tuning over here. Let's see a quick before and after the bushes. Yeah, they were way too prominent. So I can also decrease the structure a little bit. Turn the shadows a little bit towards the blue and darken the shadows a little more, I guess. Maybe like that. Yes. Um, let's try another film curve because that's what Fujifilm is so famous for. Oh well, this could also be a great black and white shot, but that's not what we're going to do today. I'm going to use the Eterna profile. Go back to the background, increase contrast a little bit more. And go back to the canyon, so to the red areas that you see right here and add a little more contrast in here as well. And I guess I'm pretty much done. Check out the before and after. And well, maybe let's go to the sky and reduce saturation in the sky a little bit, but you get the idea. So that's basically all that I need to do for this image in order to get 
a great result. Now, this is not due to the fact that there is something wrong with the exposure or with the photo itself. It's just that the raw image has a lot of potential and you just need to give it the chance to be seen. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and see you soon. Goodbye.